Now, Justin Thomas, uh, he's now down to 22 to 1. I really like Justin this week. And why not? Um, not only uh, does he fit your your stat there of best last five on this golf course, including mm-hmm. his PGA Championship win. Yep. Um, and, and he's been consistent here. He's missed one cut. Besides that, everything 26 or better. So very consistent here. And he's coming off at fifth at the RBC, which was very important because he wasn't playing all that well. So the fifth at RBC, without that, I'm not feeling this good. But the lasting memory of Justin Thomas a few weeks ago was a solid showing again. Here's the other thing. I digged into this research. How about this? The week before a major or specifically the PJ Championship. Mm-hmm. Okay. He was fifth at the Byron Nelson the week before his 2022 PJ Tour, PJ Championship win. He was third in Canada the week before he played the US Open in 2022. He won the week before the PGA Championship in 2020 and he won the week before the PGA Championship in 2018 and what was that a WGC event basically mm-hmm. a signature event. So, oh he was fourth the week before the PGA Championship in 2015 at the Quicken Loans. <laughs> so he just really gears up nice. the week before the PGA Championship. And, of course, yeah. he's got two PGA Championship wins. So for all that together, mm-hmm. and that's why uh, if I had him on one and done, I'd take him. But I just – I've already used him. Um, so I'm definitely taking him as one of my picks this week. Yeah, I think – yeah, I've used him in one and done too. Um, yeah, I, I, I like the bet. Um yeah, the RBC performance was nice. He he gained across the board off the tee approach around the green and putting. Really, the approach play has remained strong for JT all season. It's the driver and the putting that has sort of come and gone, and that's sort of what's you know uh, influenced his his finishes. So if he can figure those things out, the, the approach play has been good enough to win. I know we we've been saying really since the start of the year we think JT is going to get at least one win this season. I I, I still believe that. He's another guy that I think is live uh, next week, obviously. So hopefully he, uh, if he doesn't win, hopefully he at least plays well and builds some momentum. 